Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be printing this. This, you might ask, well, tell you what. Um, obviously, it's a cube. Uh, it's printed out of TPU. However, before we get there, because this is an uh, important cube, uh, let's do a quick time lapse. So let's take a look at the time lapse. It's a short, because uh, it's only a small cube. And we'll be back, and I will explain the importance of this cube to you. So, time lapse. Time lapse video. Welcome back. So, as I promised, uh, I'm going to share the purpose of this cube. Actually, this is a test cube. So, uh, what, what I decided to do is I'm going to, I designed a test cube, which is basically a 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter cube with a 10 millimeter hole in the center of it. And what I plan on doing is printing one of these in the one hole from various types of materials and collecting statistics about the cube. Uh, and then I want to post it uh, because on the website, DIY3DTech.com, I'm setting up a, a set of filament guides, and one of the things that I want to have on there is uh, a, a bit about what people can expect for contraction and expansion rates of the material as it comes out. Now, I know there's going to be some, uh, you know, differences with just the machines. That's why I'm going to do them all in the one hole. And then I'm going to actually plug them all into an Excel spreadsheet. And I'm going to see if I can come up with the standard error for the uh, Wanho itself. And then um, kind of take that back out in, in the statistics of the material itself. I, I do know if I looked up the material, I could probably find some of this. However, I want to get some, basically, you know, some real-world tests. There's that word, basically, again. Uh, I want to get some real-world tests out of this. So... Again, this is supposed to be a 20 by 20 millimeter uh, cube. So I've got calibers here, so I'm going to zero out the calibers. And then I'm going to take the first measurement at the top of the cube, and you can kind of see, hopefully, um, I'm getting about 20, about 20.5. 20 so I've got a little bit of expansion in the vertical. Remember, and this, this is going to print with the hole up. So then the first side, I'm a little bit undersized uh, by eh, a little short of a half, a half a millimeter. And then to the other side, I'm also short a little bit less than a half a millimeter. And again, I'll put all these um, on the website and, and the bit in the show notes too as I go through these. So again, just wanted to show. So the, the vertical height... Um, came out a little bit more than, than 20, while the sides came out a little bit less than 20. And I'm going to take this pretty much that it's going to be um, a little bit less in general. And I think that the, the top is a little bit just a function of this. And I'll talk about this in a minute. Um, however, let's take a look at the hole itself. So this is supposed to be 10. And again, I'm a little bit, I'm about a quarter, a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit less than a quarter, quarter m millimeter off in the hole size. So I don't know if you can see the number there in the caliber. So I'm about 9.88 on the bottom side. And I'm about yeah, 9.78 on the top side. And I'm kind of spinning the cube around. So it's gotten a little bit bigger towards the top of the cube than the bottom. However, there's, there definitely seems to be a bit of compression um, in the material. Again, this should be uh, 20 and it's 19.75. Now, one of the things I did notice is the top. You probably noticed that the top came out pretty poor. 
And so I printed this with a 5% infill, and you can see it, it sagged quite a bit. Um, I, I think uh, I think I did one millimeter layer height. Uh, I, I think with TPU, and I've seen this problem on other things I printed with TPU, it's had a flat surface across, um, uh, you know, basically an infill pattern, especially a light infill pattern. Uh, so I would probably increase this, and this is some of the stuff I'm, I want to make in the filament notes, is, is some adjustments, because you see the bottom is fine, however the top is, is kind of crappy, there's a lot of holes in it. So I think if it would have put another layer on top of this, if I would have done two layers, uh, that would have been very nice. Uh, so I think that's again something I'm going to note. And I'm definitely put some pictures of the cube and, and that kind of stuff on the website too. So there's kind of a like an online uh, resource for it. So, anyways, um, you know, look for that. And I also have the in the description below the uh, the page on the website for the filament guide for TPU. So again, I'm going to do this for ABS, PLA, etc. And get a collection of these and work up what's the statistics on this. Um, because one of the things I do is want to come up with kind of a cheat sheet. Uh, you know, I, again, you know, holes are terrible when you when you come up with uh, holes and pins in, in, in 3D printing. Uh, again, you know, what what should you expect? And and so what I'm going to do is again do some of these in multiple materials, normalize it out in Excel, and then see what the real expansion is. So um, a lot of this probably won't be updated on the website until I get a significant number of these printed out. And so I'll do a video for each one, kind of showing what the results are. So again, this is uh, TPU, and I really like this stuff. It is really uh, pliable. So uh, anyways, hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up, even if you didn't. Hey, give it a thumbs up anyway, and we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, uh, if you need more information on this or anything else, check out the website, or let me know down below in the comments. Cheers.